Okay, got a little bit of an interesting video today. Chris and I decided last minute that we are gonna go look at a Stelvio. We know we wanted a Stelvio for the longest time, we just haven't pulled the trigger on one because cars are expensive. Uh, but we haven't pulled the trigger on a Stelvio because obviously we have too many cars, but I think I've made up my mind. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, FRS and we're gonna just pick up a Stelvio. Uh, obviously, clearly the channel wants to see that more. I think we'll make some more better quality videos out of it. More quality videos with the Stelvio. I already called my bank, try to get some financing. And now we're headed over to Momentum. Now I thought it was gonna be take a while to find the car that we're looking for. Uh, me and Crystal ended up finding one already. It's a 2018 Stelvio. It doesn't have Apple CarPlay, which, I, which is what I wanted. It doesn't have a sunroof, which I wanted a sunroof, but at the same time, I know that they're a little bit problematic, uh, or I've seen people have some problems with them, and I just didn't wanna run into more issues. Um, I try to keep my cars less maintenance as possible. So I think we're just gonna go without a sunroof. As far as Apple CarPlay, we can always add that later. It's not too big of a deal. Really, I just wanna make sure that the, the car is in pretty decent condition. Technically, it will have 2,000 miles less than this one. It will have 56,000 miles. This one's at 58,000 miles. So, you know, pretty high, kind of high mileage, but they're only asking like 25 grand for it. I'm hoping I can talk them down just a little bit. We'll go them down a little bit, see if we can get a decent price. And this one is a all wheel drive, it's a Q4. Um, obviously, cause it's it's Texas and raining and you know, we don't wanna get stuck in snow. It's best to have an all wheel drive vehicle. I really wanted to buy a Julia in the all wheel drive, but you know, obviously we had went too far into this build um, to, to do that. Um, but it should make some pretty good power as, in, as an all wheel drive SUV. I really wanted to buy a crash one. But you guys can clearly see, we don't even have the time to put in our coilovers and our downpipe, we don't have the space. So if I wanted to build an off-road build, we'd have to have a little bit more space than what we currently have, because it's just, just not gonna happen. I know, I talk really bad about Momentum. Uh, but Fort Worth's prices was absolutely crazy. Momentum was at least a little bit bearable. Uh, so let's go see what they have. And hopefully, uh, I'm hoping we buy this thing. <laughs> so they let me take it for like 30 minutes and just test drive it and enjoy it. Clearly I'm gonna vlog instead. Um, I'm like pretty sure I'm gonna buy this, like this close. The wheels, not so much of a fan, um, not a big deal. Obviously you guys know we go through wheels pretty, pretty consistently. Overall, it feels like the Julia, just not. The interior is brown. Sorry for that, that going off. We did get brown interior. I noticed that the cup holders are shaped a little different. This is like a brown. This is like all wood, wood. And like, this is the, the armrest is like a little bit thicker. It looks clean inside here. Like it's not plastic. It's like this felt, which is kind of cool. I do like the brown. I'll be honest. I wasn't hundred percent sold on it when I first saw it. Automatic. That's pretty cool, right? Right? You come in. More brown. Like, I think the brown looks cool. Like, it's like a wood finish. I think the wood finish looks cool. I think that's probably why it's still here. Uh, like, literally, the steering wheel is identical. Shifter. Everything is identical. So, if we wanted to run something a little bit... I mean, you guys know. We can change all of this. Memory seats, I forgot we, <laughs> memory seats. The engine oil is low, so that's why I didn't drive it far either. I'm gonna go take it back right now because <laughs> that's sketchy. I don't know how to say it. Harding Carter, Harman Kardon sound, um, but upgraded sound. It is a TI, it's a Q4, no paddles. So you know what we're gonna do with that. Add the paddles in here. Um, has an 8.8 .8 screen. Let's see what else it can do in here. All that looks the same, relatively the same. No sunroof, like I said. I mean, it's literally like driving a Julia, just bigger. The hood's bigger, everything's bigger. Pretty cool stuff. I don't know, what do you guys think? Go for a little drive in it. I'm clearly not gonna floor it because, <laughs> like I said, engine oil's low. Uh, we don't wanna stress that motor out. I told Crystal as soon as I got into this, I, I, like, I really want it. Like, I really like this. I think this looks really cool. I didn't bring my GoPro. I didn't bring anything with me. So, you know, 
this is what it is, what you get. To be fair, I don't know how to get back, but he did say I have 30 minutes with the car, so I wanna enjoy the 30 minutes. 57,000 miles on the odometer. Um, ours has around 58,000 miles, so we're about a thousand miles off, so this is pretty much the same, same as our, like, I mean, like I said, in every, every sense of the imagination, this is, this is pretty much just like our Julia. I really wish I could just like, drop the throttle and go, but you know, that wouldn't be the appropriate thing to do, guys. It's not our car, we don't own it yet. Once I own it, you guys know me, I'll throw it around. I don't know it's funny to see how luxurious it is and like now that i have like because this is how the julia felt but like when i have the julia now that with the exhaust and like the tune and everything feels a little bit more uppity and alive it's just funny to see like how like i guess like the way it's supposed to come from the factory where it's supposed to just be like a comfort car a luxury car and we're over over here hooning around in ours um ash and momentum been super helpful so far really nice guy Gave me the car for 30 minutes. Didn't give me a fuss. He's quick, had the car ready for me. Um, personally, like you guys know, I talk about service a lot. I talk about uh, sales a lot. I love when somebody's quick to the point. I tell them I'm bringing my own financing. Wire transfer doesn't matter. He doesn't care as long as, uh, as, long as they got certified funds, we're good to go. So super cool guy, super good experience so far. Um, you know, I will still say that I don't really, I don't really mess with the uh, Momentum Service Department, but so far their, uh, their sales team is a lot better i can feel the difference in the the drivability with q4 versus two wheel so if all goes well we should have this by monday is what i'm thinking i have to so i go through my financing and i i know i talked about a few videos about financing i usually never finance at the dealership uh they never give me the rates that i'm looking for i always buy when i buy cars i buy them through my credit union the best credit union in the world once i go through that credit union they give me certified funds i come over here and i pick up the car with my certified funds and that's it. Not in the car. But I do got to get rid of my FRS. So if anybody's looking for an RS1 FRS, let me know because I don't want it no more. Oh, and I got to sell the minivan too. This would be the minivan replacement. That's where Luciano will sit. This is this is the minivan replacement, guys. These cars definitely need paddles uh, because this is so weird. I'm, I only drive like in manual mode or for the most part I do when I'm not recording. And this is, I, I'm, I already miss them. That I Honestly, I said race mode was my favorite mod in the Julia. Genuinely, <laughs> genuinely, I think it's the, uh, I think it's the paddles. Because <laughs> I literally want to, <laughs> and there's nothing. This, this interior feels like it needs that uh, QV steering wheel with that really thick. Like, this would make the interior feel so much more like, like, this is too small. The steering wheel is too small, and the shifter's too small for this car. Like, I think that the, the newer one fits in here much 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 better here come back to momentum guys oh yeah just offer like i couldn't i <laughs> i did that same i came over that little dip in the julia and that was like, atrocious look at that momentum here we are oh, this video is going to literally go up today so tell me what you guys think before i make a bad decision and buy it because i sh for sure should be owning it by monday is what i'm thinking you guys like my background I set this up yesterday. Okay, so yesterday's video was supposed to be us doing the merch, but then the merch didn't come out right. So then I tried setting up doing a setup, but like then I got carried away. I don't know, anyways. This video wasn't supposed to go like this. It wasn't supposed to be negative. Um, but lo and behold, Alfa Romeo always does it to me. I will fully anticipate buying this car. The car was listed at $25,000, 25 and some change, 25,350. Uh, I also fully expect to pay tax tile licensing, out the door. I have my own certified funds, like I was telling you guys earlier. I was supposed to purchase a car by Monday, check was supposed to come, we're clearing out the door. I tell them I'm interested in Max Care, just give me the prices. Do not put it in my purchase order, but give me the prices for Max Care because I'm getting an extended warranty because we're already at 56,000 miles. And I wasn't planning on really modifying this one too hard, um, you know, like I am modifying the Julia. So I told them, just give me the price point out the door, sell, purchase order, we're good to go. I don't I don't know alpha you guys you guys make it hard to be an alpha fan again I'm not gonna shit on just alpha because every dealership tries to get in their last dollar and they try to scam you for money and I get it right I know how it works um, but here's my problem okay 23,000 he adds in a thousand dollars for VPP which is what he explained which is a security system that momentum puts in and it was tint 
$1,000. Um, then there was another uh, $9.95 uh, for something else. I don't know, you guys can take a look at it. Um, so it's an extra $2,000 for the purchase price, which brought my total up to $28,342. With tax and everything else, I'm paying $29,000 out the door. Dealer fee, I could pay the dock fee, I can pay a processing fee, I can pay all those little tiny state inspection, licensing fee, registration, all that I don't care. What I cared about was the extra $2,000. He told me that there is no way that they can take that $2,000 off because it's going to price up momentum put on there. There's no way you can take it off. I told him, if there's no way I can take it off, I'm no longer interested in purchasing the, car, purchasing the car. Have a good day. I will go find one at a different dealership that's not going to add that on. He said, what do I need to make it go down to? I said, we're not going to play the games. You have a, you, ha you have a sold... And I'm talking a little bit slower today because somebody in the comp twice people said talk slower. So if you're skipping ahead, that's rude. Um, he said that there's no way he could take it off. Then he said, I, how can I make it work? Then I told him, you have a sold car. The car's sold. I, I literally have the funds coming Monday. You're done. The car's gone. You're going to make your commission. Take those $2,000 off that you knocked in the price and let's, let's, let's call it done. Let's call it a day. Let's shake hands and be done with it. And he said, I'll take was $700 off or $400 off, I don't know. But you guys can kind of see it. I added this right here. This is my total purchase price, I don't know. And the, I, I can put a little bit of 25. They added an extra thousand here, an extra thousand here. I told them I need these both removed in order for me to purchase the car. They said no, he said no. I will be buying a Stelvio. And I was really gonna use this video um, as the launch of us owning the Stelvio because I fully, fully, fully anticipate owning one. Um, and I was I, I, like, I'm ready to buy it. I'm, 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 I want to sell you, I'm ready to buy one. But I'm not gonna play the dealer games. Um, I'm gonna go find a dealership who just wants to sell me for the cash price and we'll be done with it. So there's that. Not as an exciting as a video as I wanted it to be. I was hoping I could introduce the car for you guys and purchase the car on the channel. But um, yeah, that's the way that went. Sorry for the Stevio content. Maybe we'll get one a little bit down the line, but it doesn't look like it's happening today. So, a little bit bummed um, because I actually started to really like the Stelvio. One thing I did find out is I like the drivability of the Stelvio just a little bit better. I'm a bigger dude. You know, Sparco seats, I usually have them all the way to the floor. It's cool driving a car that's low to the ground, uh, relatively low to the ground. Uh, but I just feel like I fit better in a Stelvio. So I am gonna, I, after driving it, I know for sure Guaranteed, I need one. My son will probably feel a lot better in one. Uh, everyone's be a little bit more comfortable. We're gonna get a Stelvio 100% guaranteed. Um, as far as the 2.0 and the 2.0 builds, um, I know you guys love the Julia build, so I know you guys will love the Stelvio build and whatever we do to it. So that's definitely next add to the channel. It's just not gonna be the one that we saw today, unfortunately. Did you guys watch enjoyed watching another one of our videos? Hopefully this camera angle worked out really well for me. Hopefully I don't look ridiculous. I appreciate you guys watching another one of our videos. Again, sorry the Stelvio didn't work. I fully anticipate us getting a Stelvio. If you guys see some really solid deals on Stelvios under $27,000, that's a TI, that's a Q4. Make sure to send them our way to Modern Motors so we can go check them out. I don't mind flying and driving. As you guys see, I put my Julia through the 4,000 miles. I'm happy to drive one back if it's a really solid deal. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.